Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the light heavyweight bout between Phil Davis versus Yoel Romero. And how's this one right here? So you got two studs going against one, one another, two high level wrestlers against one another. So the former, well not former, but the silver medalist, the Cuban Missile Crisis, Yoel Romero versus Phil Davis, Mr. Pink, Mr. Wonderful, two high level guys. But I'm high season right here. So you got youth is definitely heavily on Davis' side. I think he's roughly riding his prime with like 30, early 30s, mid 30s, kind of riding that prime at that moment. You got Yo Romero who still continues to find new primes. But without doubt, you definitely could still see he's aging. I know some people might be confused and like, oh, the man's still getting younger every single day and getting confused. But for me, I feel I'm not deluded or thrown off by the mystique of him and whatnot. And also got to face the realization that it's like he hasn't been really winning all that consistently. He's been fighting nothing but the best, but it's not like he's been over there putting wins together. And also, it's been a while since he did fight. I think we fought like the beginning of 2020, so it's been a minute since he really fought. What, like the beginning, of, right before the pandemic? But yeah, that's not too much relevant in my prediction. But again, what is relevant is the fact that Yo Romero is aging. And has, I think, since the first Romero, I mean, Robert Whitaker fight, kind of after that first Robert Whitaker fight, where he changed in his style. But yeah, after that first Robert Whitaker fight, like, look at, especially at the second fight, how he shells up and, like, kind of gives up those first couple rounds and look, really looks to fight in bursts and not throughout. But yeah, I think that style came out of necessity and aging, tactical, because you get older, you can't really fight. With the same amount of energy as these young, these young bucks, you gotta really be conservative, and that's what he, his style has become—a conservative. And I can't really see him going out there and constantly just pressing the pace against Phil Davis. Also, I don't really see him finishing Phil Davis. Phil Davis has never been finished. He's been in there with Rumble Johnson, been in there with Bader twice, been in there with the current Bellator champion twice in two competitive fights. So he's been in there with some hard hitters, some very solid guys, and has never been finished. Finished. Also been in with Glover to Sheriff beat him. So been in there with some heavy hitters, beating, lost into some of them. And some of the best competition there is in this division and in this sport. So, also a younger man by what, like nearly 10 years. So, a lot of things to factor. But ultimately, again, I've come down to I think style wise and attributes and tell the tape, they would be longer, younger, longer height, I mean, taller, longer reach, younger, better cardio, just a fresher fighter. And I think in case, like, like I said, Romero gonna be looking for these moments. And he, I think at moments, he's gonna look like a world beater. And be able to land those clean counters on Phil Davis and draw them out. But ultimately, again, going to be there waiting and trying to find these moments where Phil Davis might get touched, but he's going to be able to wear the shot, come back and keep putting up volume, keep throwing out shots, strikes there, trying to mix in the wrestling. I don't think either of them going to have great success with their wrestling, but I know for sure that Phil Davis will, if anyone's going to be more active with their wrestling, it's going to be Phil Davis, where Romero might look for a takedown here and there. But matter of fact, I feel like Phil Davis is going to have great success with his wrestling than Romero. And I definitely think he'll be more active with his takedowns than Romero. Romero might look for like three takedowns in Maxim's fight, whereas Phil Davis might look for 10. I'm not saying Phil Davis will go for 10, but he'll look for 10, probably go for like six or seven. Romero probably will look for three, might go for three, but really might gonna go for two. So like I said, Phil Davis will be more active with his wrestling and be more tactical with his wrestling, whereas Romero is gonna just, if he sees it, it's gonna go for it, like same way with his striking. If he sees the opportunity, he's gonna go for it. But the most part, he's gonna try to stay behind the shell, stay tight defense, rolling with shots and waiting for opportunities until like that second or third round or late that second half of the second round in the third round like you're really trying to serve his cardio and not try to really push the ignition on there but who knows maybe he might try to go a little bit more but even still it's not just he goes into the shell because he's respecting their power he goes into the shell because he's just trying to find those opportunities those moments but again i think it's really gonna come down to phil davis output his youth and um activity remember looking for moments Whereas Phil Davis is just constantly being consistent, constantly putting output out there. Whereas Romero, again, looking for those opportunities and then really conserving the energy and waiting until like a third round to explode or when it presents itself. Whereas Phil Davis the whole time is going to be working throughout this one. And I think that's what's going to come down to it. Very tight matchup, very close fight. But Phil Davis is winning simply by his pace, output, and outworking Yo Romero in this one. So in this fight, I have Phil Davis via decision. 